All right, so wash day review. So first I wanna talk about the pre-poo. So today was my very first time doing an actual pre-poo, like all the way. I think I did one a long time ago when my hair was short. But um, things are totally different this go around with having loose natural hair um, after having locks for two years. My hair is longer than I've ever, ever, ever had to deal with. So I'm trying to do things differently. So I did a pre-poo because a lot of people um, prefer to detangle their hair before they wash rather than doing it with the conditioner. Um, I typically like to detangle my hair as I style just because it's a lot. My hair is super, super coily and it tangles very easily. So even with me detangling before I shampoo, my hair went in two strand twists and even taking out my two strand twists was a struggle. So that's just how curly my hair is. Um, so for my pre-poo today, I definitely use my aloe vera gel because I was only gonna use the coconut butter but it just wasn't giving me the slip that I needed to comb my tangles out. So I added the aloe vera gel to it. So I used um, the coconut butter and I used aloe vera gel to do my pre-poo. Now, it took me an hour and a half to do this dry. And I don't really know how I felt about that. Um, it did speed the process up after I washed my hair. But I think it's only because I spent an hour and a half at the beginning detangling my hair so um i think for certain treatments depending on what i'm doing to my hair like if i'm doing the scalp cleanse like i did today then definitely pre-pulling and sectioning off um i don't know i guess it just depends on what i'm doing to my hair whether or not i'll pre-pull or not but i definitely I, I enjoyed it it wasn't um a negative experience by any means necessary it just took a long ass time which is expected when detangling hair um but I think it definitely helped set me up for a good wash day because I was doing the scalp wash and I was doing the protein treatment. So I needed my hair detangled and sectioned off anyway. So it was perfect. Um, the first product that I want to review is the Master Cleanse um, Scalp Wash by TPH. This shit is banging. So... Basically, I had sunburn on my scalp because um, I had a lot of oil in my hair last week and the sun here is just cooking the fuck out of my skin. Like my shoulders are burnt, back of my neck is burnt and my scalp is burnt. So I was looking for a product that I could um, basically cleanse my scalp with. Uh, it was very itchy and very tender. So I didn't want to, you know just keep washing it with regular shampoo i wanted something specifically for the scalp and like conditioning and helping me um promote healing from my scalp so oops so i chose this product because one i wanted to try um taraji's new line and then this just really caught my eye um because of not only the title but the ingredients the witch hazel the eucalyptus oil and tea tree oil i knew that's exactly what my scalp needs let me try this so when i read the reviews on target one of the main um reasons why people hated this product why they gave it a one was because they couldn't get the top off baby 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 that's because the top doesn't come off you twist the top and it's open so that you can allow the product to come out into your hair it's designed so that you can use these to get up into the scalp without you know having to part your hair and it targets the area of your scalp that you want to put the product so um my recommendation for everybody please read like when you go to the store and you buy products know what you're going to buy and know what you're looking for Always read the ingredients, always read full directions, and definitely read everything on the back, okay, when it comes to these products. Because if you don't and you go into it thinking that it's something that it's not, you're going to be highly disappointed. Um, I definitely saw somebody, they thought this was a shampoo. Nowhere on here does it say anything about shampoo. And then if you read the instructions, you would have known this ain't no damn shampoo. Like, no, <laughs> no offense. But look, to use. Okay, it gives you instructions on how to open the bottle. Twist cap to right, 
to the right <laughs> to open. And then use the Tri-Touch applicator to target scalp areas and gently squeeze to dispense product. Bow. If they would have read that, they would have known this doesn't come off, baby. It twists and you stick this in to squeeze it. Rating this a one because you couldn't get this off is it's hilarious because that is um, user error. That has nothing to do with the product. So I don't like that they gave us bad ratings. One thing I'm jealous about is they have a um, sea salt scrub for your scalp. And I actually saw that and I should have picked it up and I didn't. So I'm going to do that next and I will definitely do a review on it. So after I cleanse my scalp with the Master Cleanse, I don't have it close to me, but I use my Lafia, um, I think it's called Everything Everyday Coconut. And it's basically just a, or no, it's called Purely Coconut. And it's a coconut oil based shampoo. It's all natural. So I shampoo my hair with that. And I only did it once just to kind of um, just cleanse my hair because it had a lot of flakes in it. I don't know if it was from my gel or if my scalp was like just shedding dead skin from the sunburn. So once I finished that, you know, I left my hair in my two, two strand twist until I got out of the shower. And that's when I applied the Real Love Protein Power Gel Mask. Now, I'm not going to lie. I was nervous because protein treatments make your hair very brittle and dry sometimes. So I'm like, yeah, you know, this is going to be interesting, but I'm going to try it. Um... So what I did was I removed my two strands twist and as I took them out, I kind of um, saturated my strands with the gel and then I finger combed the treatment through it. Now I did this all over my head and then at the end I put like just maybe a quarter size um, glob in my hand and I did all of my hair and I put a shower cap on it. I double capped it and I left it on for 20 minutes. You guys, when I rinsed this shit out, my hair was beautiful. It was soft. It was strong. I had minimal shedding. And I also took a picture, so I'll post a picture of the little bit of shedding that I had. I was very, 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 very fucking pleased with this. Like, if I could give this 30 stars, I would give this protein treatment 30 stars. Not only did it strengthen in my hair strengthening not only did it strengthen my hair but it also hydrated it like my hair was not dry at all um it was very moisturized i only had to put a little bit of sweet almond oil when i went to twist it because it was just it didn't need any additional moisture so i definitely want to you know head this is a bomb ass protein treatment if you're looking for one um now I didn't see any bad reviews about that, so good job, ladies, for being positive. Um, some of the other products that I saw bad reviews on, one was the gel. The, I guess it's a twisting gel. A lot of people complained that it was flaky. That I can definitely understand. I probably would stay away from that gel just because that um, review was consistent. I heard that from a lot of people, and I've had issues, I think... I don't know if it's my Aunt Jackie's or if it's my mousse mixed with the Aunt Jackie's that gives me flakes. But one of my gels gives me flakes too. And I think it's because of the mixture of products. So I think when you're not putting the right things as the base before you put the gel, it causes flakes. So maybe adding a little bit of oil, sweet almond oil, avocado oil, just a little bit of oil to the hair before the gel might help to eliminate the flakes. Um, there's a few products on the blue line that have alcohol in them. So please be wary of those. I definitely won't be trying those. Sorry, Taraji, but I don't do alcohol in my hair. Um, but I think it was the co-wash, one of the conditioners, and it was one other product. It was one purple, one blue, and one... I can't remember. Maybe red product that was. I would definitely find out which ones they are and I'll post them. So I won't be trying those. But just looking in the comments of these videos that were giving negative, nasty reviews. Just seeing how women were bandwagoning. Like just saying things like, I wasn't buying this product anyway. Thank you for letting me know. I won't be wasting my money. <laughs> Thank you, girl. Like that further lets me know that people are 
basically making this personal. These reviews are personal. One video I watched, the girl put absolutely way too many products in her hair and that's why she didn't get a good result. You gotta know what you're putting in your hair, y'all. Like, you can't just buy a product line and put every single fucking product in your hair and just think you about to come out looking like Tracy Ellis Ross and Taraji P. Henson. It doesn't work like that. Like, you have to know what you're doing. So, for instance, with me, I ain't go buy every single freaking scalp conditioner line and use them all at one time. No, I bought what my hair needed. I needed a cleanse for my scalp. If I needed a shampoo, I would have gotten a shampoo. But I didn't. I went and got a protein treatment because I needed a protein treatment. So um, I think a lot of times people are setting their expectations way too high and they are not getting good results because of user error. And then they're basically taking it out on the product in these negative reviews. So my advice to everybody read the ingredients okay know what the product is made for um a lot of some of the products have for curly coily hair at the bottom some of them have for all hair types at the bottom know your hair type know what your hair likes and what it doesn't like as far as ingredients and read those damn ingredients because that is very important for your hair read the directions how to use the product because that's another error that i noticed that people they're not reading and then you want to get mad at the product like it's the product's fault that your hair came out crunchy and flaky and you couldn't get the damn top off you gotta read y'all read um and lastly if you did have a bad experience with this product i think it's worth shooting an email to the company so that they can go in and redesign the recipes so they can redesign the packages so that they can better their product for us instead of going online and Taraji, uh -uh, girl, what's this? <laughs> okay, like Taraji has a team, y'all. She not God, she didn't make everything by herself. She has a team. They taught her how to use her products. Her products work on her because she uses them properly. I don't understand. So, you know, that's that's just my opinion. I feel like a lot of the negative reviews are full of shit. I think that a lot of people just don't know what the hell they're doing with their hair. And they expect these products to just be miracles. And that's not the case. Um, I love the product line. And I'm definitely going to try more of it. I'm definitely going to try Tracy Ellis Ross as well. And I will be doing a, a full ass review on that because I just, I can't believe that people have such like hateful spirits about them when it comes to people and their dreams. So thank you, Taraji. I really love this line. I really, I'm excited for it because not only is it a clean product, it doesn't have a lot of bullshit in it. It's for us. It's by us. It's black owned. Yes, it, like even Target, let me know. This is black on baby. Purchase it. So at the end of the day, stop stop dragging people, y'all. If you don't like somebody's product, that's you. It's your personal opinion. Thank you for sharing. I will say that. Thank you for sharing because it gave me an idea of what I need to like look for. And I definitely um went into this differently than I do with any other products. I know I may just be trying shit, but this time I was like, nah. Let me be careful about which ones that I try and let me make sure I'm buying shit that I actually need. So thank you, Taraji, for that. So pre-poo was a success. The master cleanse was a success and the real love protein treatment was a fucking success. So um, I haven't gotten my treatment in for my scalp, but I did receive this Groganics Root Lifter. So basically... Um, like I said before, I had um, traction alopecia. So, Groganics is the company that made the product that helped me grow my hair back. So, I brought this root lifter to kind of help, you know, just keep my scalp um, energized and awake so that, you know, through the healing of this sunburn, that it doesn't just die. I don't want my roots to die. So, I bought this to kind of keep my roots energized so we can get this hair flowing. Baby, I want my shit up here okay so thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed um 
let me know anything any opinions you got i guess i'm all ears baby love you